What up everyone? This is Kuya Jopoy and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. No, and for today's video, pag-uusapan natin ang mga bagay-bagay na naman po and we'll be talking about the midlife crisis. Uusapan natin yan together with my friends tonight. Makikilala siya. New sila in a while. So, once again, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Thank you. See you. Ayan, we're here with my friend. So we have Che Che. Again. 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 And then Aisa Ake. Yeah. Also Ate Lois. And we are here to talk about midlife. No, bigla ang vlog lang po ito. Hindi po pa lahat kami na orient. We just decided to do this para pag-usapan yung mga pinagdadaanan namin. And also to help. Also to help. Pag-usapan na natin. Tara na. Let's go. For our first topic is We'll be talking about the timeline. No, para sa inyo, ano yung how is it? How true is it? Na there is a timeline. Na sinusulod dapat like at the age of twenty, dapat twenty one, dapat graduate ka na ng college. Do you believe on this? Para sa inyo, you think? Kasi ako personally, I don't believe in timeline. But I believe in goals. I believe in planning. I believe in visions. But I don't believe on There is a specific timeline for everyone, for for us to really submit into. Like for example, not everyone graduates on time, so, de ba? Hindi naman talagang ibig sabihin na they are a failure as a person if they are not going to be on the same timeline with others. Sa akin, I think parang yung timeline for for um. Ah, so sorry. Sa akin naman, parang awkward. I will really talk to that now. So na, I I believe in na parang may timeline. But um, hindi na siguro mas uh, hindi hindi siguro specific. Siguro papasok yung sinasabi ni Jeff na goals, yung vision doon sa timeline na yon. Also to help oh. in this midlife crisis that almost everyone is going through or at least have gone through. Um parang <laughs> mahirap mahirap makipag-cope up sa society and that's why maraming nape-pressure mm -hmm. no because the the society is trying to um, set a specific um, timeline for all of us where it, which is it's not really though it, it, again it's good to have goals in life it's good to have visions it's good to have it's good to have plans but again the bible says many are the plans in the heart of men but the purpose of the lord will Amen. prevail it doesn't matter if you are not on the same timeline with your batchmates mm -hmm. i think ate lois would like to yes, share yes. something yes. about it i guess it depends on how you receive and use the timeline because without timeline you became complacent mm -hmm. or you okay. use you're, you you you'll use it as an excuse night you don't need timeline so chill and relax lang. but it's okay to set goals and to set time for that but don't dwell too much on it to the point that when you don't uh, get to it on on your own timeline you get discouraged because mm -hmm. Timeline and timing is different. Yes. Right. You set your own timeline, but God has His own timing. Timing so, is everything. Yun, so. Ta is a meme. No, how can we deal? What do you, can you say to people who are going through this pressure, the pressure to help their family? Pag graduate mo, parang you help your parents to give back to what they have done and what they have helped para makagraduate ka lang. So, let's hear it from none other than Che Che. Ayun. Anyway, I believe hindi lang naman ako ang nakakalala sa mga pressure, no? I believe kayo rin, di ba? Meron kayo mga yes. pressures in life. Mga yes. pressures in life. It matters how you handle the pressure. Kasi, pwede namang, yes, napapressure ka, pero you get you get so affected. Di ba? Meron tayong kasabihan na, um, If there's a pressure, you are going. Hindi ah, like the water, di ba ang ang tu ang faucet, di ba kaya nga may lumalabas na tubig. Ano yun? Di ba kaya nga mayroong lumalabas na tubig sa faucet? 
kasi because of the pressure. Maybe kailangan natin or kailangan mo i-change yung perspective mo about pressure because um, that pressure that uh, it will bring the best in you. Pressure keeps you going. Yun yun pala. So kaya ka nagugo ngayon because may pressure, di ba? <laughs> but I must not um, face my worth as a as a child, as a son. Doon sa doon sa capacity ko to to help my parents and to help my family. No, pursuing a career. How are you going to ano? Parang how are you going to make decisions? Yeah. I have experienced before that I worked in a BPO BPO company. And then during that time, I okay, like, okay, I'm like, okay, I'm like, 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 I'm tired and unproductive. I'm like, 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 Oh, you're not happy. There is something na kanang murag dili man ni mao, ana gani. Yeah. So that's why kato siya nga job wala jud ko nagdugay ato because I know kanang kung padugayon pa nako to siya, dili gyud ko maggrow ana ug maging stagnant ko ana tapos kanang kumbaga dili nako na malive ang life na prepare ni Lord sa ako. Dapat kita as as a uh, person nga kanang mga nasa midlife kanang you can pursue pursue your goal. You can do everything what you want. No, you career and all. But then, don't forget God. I don't know. I'm a late bloomer. So when I was in college, first accountancy. Ano lang parang funny story kasi na enroll ko sa accountancy not because I want to or not because I choose to. Kasi si kuya ang nag-enroll sa ko. Ah, and architecture and accountancy, magkatabi lang. So, I just found out na accountancy ko right after enroll na ko niya. So, parang just to finish something, I I, I finished studying my my college degree ato and then I went to a corporate uh, setting. I worked as a finance uh, assistant finance analyst in San Miguel. So, but from then on, I thought it was a career for me na. But ang yung iingon ni ni Van Van na, you have what you think would make you happy, but you're not happy. Because you know that you're not in the place where you want to be. Just to help you in. But I still thank God that I went through it. Because right now, I saw how God took that process para kailan necessary kasi siya sa sa career na ginapursu na ako kara na sa interior stylist. Because with the background that I have from business and parang management, nagamit na ako siya in the sa in this career. So walay walay season of learning no wasted. Don't be discouraged if it would take you quite some time. To be somewhere where you want to be, because yes. the process will be always worth it. Mm -mm. We'll be talking about the relationship because a lot of people, especially in our age, think about relationship as a must. Must, must. Parang kailangan meron na akong uya. At the age of 24, dapat I already have experience. Some people are already marrying at the age of 21. No, and sometimes. <laughs> As that we we as per people who are going through the midlife crisis or we are in our midlife, you know, para nasa twenties na tayo, we are feeling that um that we are behind from para ano to mahimik yung mundo. Parang we feel like we are behind from the world because everyone is already enjoying having pairs, having couple. As in, no? Oh, meron. Tumatawa. Tapos meron ding iba. They feel like they're less. Parang bumababa yung confidence nila just because. Beauty. Beauty. Tiktok ka. Nede. Parang bumababa yung yung confidence nila just because they don't have relationship. And and ang ending what? Ang pinag ang iniisip natin ano? Maybe may mali sa akin. There is something wrong with me. De ba? Tumatawa ka na yun. Alam ko. Dahil naiisip mo. Parang feeling mo dahil wala ka pang relationship. You are still you are still single as of the moment. You feel like there is something wrong with you. And let me tell you from the perspective of the 
parang perspective of the single people. <gasps> there is nothing wrong with the rules. Also to help. Because the relationship. Let's hear it from people, na lang. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hear it from people. So I wanna hear it from ano, from isa akin. Um, sa akin, um, I think yeah, I, a lot of you are, I uh, can relate rather, no, um, to what Geoffrey said a while ago. That something you you probably feel that something is wrong with you, no, if because you don't you don't have any relationship at all. Yeah, going back to the, um to that statement, there's nothing really wrong about it. Um, what I believe is that. Um, I think um, because the Lord, of course, uh, I don't want to be religious because it's the truth, okay? Um, hindi ka palang pinanganak, I believe may pinipray si Lord sa Lord, si Lord sa iyo. Parang huwag mo siyang tingin. Pinipre-prepare. <laughs> I was having a hard time saying the, prepare, uh, the, the word prepare, no? May na-ready na para sa iyo, eh, ano? So, no, parang pelikula lang, pero totoo talaga yan, okay? Um, siguro ito, um, aside sa may pinipre- pinip Prepare si Lord sa iyo. Pini-prepare ka din ni Lord. Pang twister ba ito? <laughs> sorry, sorry for that. Okay, so God is making you ready also to that one. So we don't we don't just trying to get um, not to get but to to find a a person that will gonna fit no sa atin. But tayo ba fit din kung kung nandoon na siya. Yung the one na binibigay ng Lord sa atin. Easy lang, easy lang mag-fit, 'di ba? Kung pwede maganda, okay na. Parang ganoon, parang Ngayon, it's na easy tanda. to compromise yes. oh. when someone is mm -hmm. already available. Yeah. Yes. Para sa akin, ha, there is no, there is no such thing as perfect age to be into a relationship. Yes. You know, as sabi nila, ah, okay, pag 25 na ako, mag, ano na ako, landi, landi na ako. <laughs> you know? So, hindi naman ibig sabihin na you're already on the legal age that you are already automatically, um, you're going to go get into a relationship. There is no perfect age, but there is a right age. And yun yung sinabi ni Isa kanina na, the right age is when you are already ready, when you're already prepared. Gusto ko sabihin sa in, sa'yo, na nanonood, maganda ka, Guapo ka. <laughs> Nag-stop tuloy ka agad yung easy. Do not wait for the approval of others. Um, just think how beautiful you are, how skillful you are, how handsome you are. No, um, Just enjoy your life muna ngayon. And don't find your worth to other people. From other people. Oo, from other people. Because you are already valuable. You're already I'm valuable as you are. Sabi ko pa nga dun sa, sa spoken poetry ko, ikaw pa lang sapat na. And you don't have to find that parang ang <laughs> You don't really have to find look for another person to oh, you don't have to find validity from other, other people, person. You right. don't have to look for another person to su supplement or to give you or make you realize of your worth. Because at this point of your life, eh, you have to be very certain. You have to be very certain in making decisions. And you yes. have to um, go after security already. Hindi pwede yung um, tirapas agad yung tao ano sa Tagalog or sa English. Uh, throw it, throw it all. <laughs> no, you're just gonna throw it, throw it all. Tirapas agad. Now you have to really pay attention sa kung ano nangyari sa buhay mo and you have to pay attention to people na who is going to be your helpmate in this life. No, Look for someone that is going to be your helpmate. You should embrace your singleness or your waiting season. It's a season that you should not skip because it's part of the process of preparing you for the next stage. So, kung kung baga, kung e, e, skip mo yan, imagine if hindi mo ginaling ang pagiging single, ano kagawin mo pag married ka na? Mm -hmm. diba? It's time to build up yourself kasi it would benefit you in the future, both you and your future partner. Yes. Galingan mo muna maging single bago you maging, yeah, ano, right. bago maging partner. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Please yeah. don't forget to click the thumbs up, the like button, ayan, and dyan sa baba, no, please don't forget to click like, 
And also, you can comment below kung ano yung mga na-learn niya from this talk, from this conversation that we had. You, know, you can also suggest topics and also you can challenge me, challenge everyone in this video. And everyone. of course, everyone. Maybe babalik pa kayo for another topic. No, We don't know in the future. And please help me reach more people by spreading the good news and good vibes. And don't forget to click the subscribe button. And that's it. Thank you so much everyone. I hope you've learned something and ayun na po. Salamat po and shalom. <laughs> oh.